Welcome back everyone to another episode of Fashion Friday in GTA Online, a series where I showcase some awesome outfits that you guys submit to me over on Twitter and thank you guys for the support and all that on last week's episode. A lot of you guys seem to enjoy the whole themed part of it. So if you guys want, you can either tweet or you can leave it in the comment section, a theme we could do in the future, whether it's a video game, whether it's a TV show, a movie or something else entirely. Just let me know, and if we can come up with some cool outfits, then I will make that themed episode. But as always, if you have your own outfit, regardless of theme, you can tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF. Getting us started, we're just going to be going through this. I think we have about 20 or so that you guys submitted. So this, or these first two are from Noisy Gamers, and this one is called the Apocalyptic Warhead. You can see what you need to make it here on the right and the left, and I'm kind of digging this outfit. I'm kind of digging the look with the, first off, the weapon there and the green coat with the gas mask and that helmet. I think that looks really, really cool. And then you just have your regular sort of black outfit, or I guess, underneath. But pretty good outfit to start us off. The next outfit from him is called the Recon Specialist. So it is, and you're going to see in this episode, we have a few military style outfits, but this one's kind of different. It's got more of like a gray theme, it looks like, because it's got the charcoal. And then you have, you can see the orange goggles or glasses. So it's kind of cool, not a, not a bad sniper outfit. Then we have Swad Jabir with Lil Pump. So if you want to live out your, your dreams as being a wannabe rapper in GTA Line, here you go. That's what you need. Doesn't actually require too much, but I do like how you have the hairstyle and beard options. Because normally, most outfits don't include that stuff. But this is, I guess, what he looks like in real life. And uh, it's a pretty spot on... It's a pretty spot on look if you're going for that. No idea who that guy is, but if you know him, boom, you'd be a wannabe rapper. Now this one from Adam, this one I thought was really cool. It's very simple. You can see it takes three things, but it's something totally different. You know, not, not too many times in GTA Land do you see someone wearing a racing outfit. And this is one, and I like how you're using the Comet SR too with the uh with this outfit but this is what it looks like it's it's literally just a racing outfit but it matches with like a gray black paint job like he has on that vehicle then we have justin this one is gene bape bape i don't no idea who this person is but it's kind of a, a cool looking outfit I, I like the gene the faded jean look i thought that's pretty cool then you have the white on the top with the white shoes that was pretty cool you can see this is what you need to make it. Doesn't look like it requires too much, but it actually comes out pretty, pretty nice looking. You can see here's another picture of it in action. It's something different. It's more of like your, you know, street style outfit, but it, it has that sort of PVP look to it. Then we have some outfits from Logax. Again, this one is the mustard mobster. So if you want to go old school and be a, a mob man, this is a pretty slick outfit and I love the colors here. They all blend really nicely. So. Going through some of the pictures, you can see robbing the bank, of course. This is what you need to make the outfit. The mustard pinstripe suit pants, that mustard pinstripe suit vest, obviously the mustard suit fedora, and then everything else. But you get a pretty, pretty sweet looking mob style outfit right there. And then the other outfit from him is Ron Burgundy. And I totally wish we could like use the Weasel News Vans. I, I wish we could have them as personal vehicles because that would just complement this outfit so so much better. You can see standing in front of the Weasel News shop, but Ron Burgundy's outfit is is fairly simple. You can see it it's just like the red suit and the red pants. So there's some other stuff, but for the most part it's very simple and it is it does look like Ron Burgundy. So if you're a fan of Ron Burgundy, that's what that's what he looks like right there. It's pretty spot on. Here we have Savage Speed with his special ops mark two outfit you can see does require a little bit but it comes out pretty damn awesome and i love these screenshots of the guy repelling from the helicopter thought that was really cool and then you can see maybe i'd go with a different car all right the armor crew just got a bad sort of rep so maybe switch that out for like an suv or maybe like one of the armored uh, vehicles that's not the karuma but the outfit itself is pretty awesome looking and then you can see, I love this picture, coming out of the water, pretty slick. And we have Fox. This one is a female outfit, and it's called Pinky. 
So it's your pink and white themed outfit. You can see right there, this requires five things, but going through some of the other pictures, it's pretty, pretty good looking in action. I do think it does go along with like all the, all the tattoos and stuff. So maybe that's something you wanna add, but not a bad outfit. Here we have a few from Leda. This one I thought was pretty awesome as just like a, a chill outfit or like just a, a casual outfit, I guess, for your female character. You can see through the pictures, it's it's very simple, but it looks it looks really nice. And then we have the other outfit from her. This one's a little crazier, but I kind of dig it. The the red and white, sort of almost like a, I don't know what, a French look. I don't know if that's, I don't know anything about fashion, man. I do these episodes, I'm not a, I'm not a fashion guru, but it looks kind of like that. I like it, I like the look. It looks unique, you're gonna stand out, and it doesn't look too complicated to make. And I love, you gotta be sassy with it, you know? Moving on, we have your boy Guru. And here we have one called the Flu Hater. Not sure why that's the name, but it's a pretty awesome motorcycle style outfit. I love the, the dark black jeans with the this sort of jacket. And then you have the red and the white to sort of give it some color. So that's a pretty awesome outfit. You can see this is what you need to make it all right there. And then looking at it in action, Obviously, you have to have a red and white bike to go with it. Here we have one from Brian. This one is just another sort of military style one. I do like how he's using the new barrage as the vehicle in the background. And you can see it in action. Pretty cool looking, especially in the Avenger there. But, and flying out or jumping out of the Avenger. But this is what you need to make it here on the left. Next one from Frost is Chloe from, I believe, Life is Strange. And this is what she looks like in the game. And then this is the character in G2 Line. I remember doing an outfit like this way back in the day, but this one is a pretty awesome look. I mean, it's pretty spot on too. And if you want, you can throw the jacket on. There's two, the two looks. So you have that one right there, and then you also have that one. But pretty cool looking. Then we have Darian. This one apparently is from Black Ops 2, and apparently they're making a Black Ops 4. I didn't even think it was three years since Black Ops 3, but Hey, what do I, I don't even play Call of Duty anymore. But anyway, we have a military outfit. And at first I was kind of thrown off with this one because the colors are just all over the place, right? You have the black up top and you have the, the green underneath and you have like the yellow and you have the red. It's just all over the place. But the more and more I look at it with how many military outfits we get or, you know, that are out there, they're all, you know, most of them are all the same. It's all like a, a strictly gray outfit or black outfit or a desert outfit. But this one's a little different. And I guess if it is based off of someone, it's not completely random. And I, I really do kind of like it. And he did say pull up a picture to see if it was realistic. And it, it actually is, surprisingly. So it's not a completely random thing. So that's a pretty, pretty cool little military outfit if you want one. Then we have one from Max. This one may be one of my favorites from this week. It's a pirate outfit. Now, apparently, it's based off of Voss's pirates from Far Cry 3. And isn't there a new Far Cry coming out? I think it's coming out, like, really soon. Maybe next week or something. But this one I really, really, really like. And there's a couple of different versions. You can go shirtless, obviously. You can go full black if you want. And then these are the two versions. Or This is what you need to make it. But in the end, you get a pretty awesome outfit. And that's what the character or the characters look like in the game. But just having some sort of pirate style outfit, especially if we get that Navy DLC coming, or if that is the one coming, that's pretty cool. These next two are from Gem, and you do have to understand, this is G to the line, so it's not going to be 100% perfect. But I love these sort of outfits, thinking outside the box. This one is Padme from Star Wars. And you can see doesn't, only requires, what is that, six things over there. But that's Padme. And that's about as close as you're going to get. So I really, I really do like that one. And then we have another one called, well, it's Pamela Anderson from Baywatch. So it's basically just like a Baywatch beach style outfit. You can see literally requires four things. Very simple. And you got to go running on the beach, obviously, because that's, that's what they did in, in the TV show. <laughs> and then we're almost to the end. We have Uzi Blah. This one is your evil outfit. I, I like these occasionally. I don't really use them that often, but occasionally it's it's kind of cool to see. This one's your evil outfit, and I don't know if it has a name. I guess it's called the Raider, and it requires all of that. 
you can pause the video if you want to see it but in action i think really just what makes it crazy looking is that mask the mask with the the helmet on top of it just looks kind of creepy especially in this sort of picture with the axe and everything but then the final one we got is from typical masses and this one is the all american biker pretty awesome outfit pretty awesome pictures here i love the actual bike to go with it because obviously if you're the all american biker you gotta have an all american bike and i love the the flag in the background too but as for making it it's what you need right there ranch parrot or patriot t-shirt you're gonna need the patched venom denim biker jacket and then all the other stuff but it comes out pretty awesome if you like to if you like to ride around on some of the non-sport bikes this might be an outfit you want to choose but anyway that is it with this episode thank you all for watching please drop the video like if you did enjoy subscribe for these every single friday and go ahead and submit your own outfits if you want to over on twitter and tweet them with the hashtag saints ff but like i said at the beginning if you guys have any themes you can either tweet them at me or put them in the comment section and i'll see what we can do for a future episode hopefully the next dlc does come out soon so we get some new clothing options but with all that being said, thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.